subject of my book talk today is entitled, Two Married Men Make the Best Husband. I feel that I'm in a position to talk on this subject convincingly because I happen to be a married man myself, unfortunately. Of course, I'm not bragging about it, and I don't want to say anything against marriage. I don't use that kind of language. Furthermore, I'm really very, very happy. Why, I'm married now, well, it's almost four years. I'm so happy it doesn't seem like more than 12. And I'll tell you why. It's because we get along so beautifully, my wife and I. Why, only two nights ago, we were sitting in the parlor and I held her hand for three hours. If I'd have let go, she'd have killed me. It's a funny thing how I came to meet my wife. One of those seaside romances. I was introduced to her by a scoundrel to whom I owed three dollars. He knew that I would never pay him back while I was conscious, so in order to get even with me, he introduced me to this female dreadnought. We got to be very friendly. Every day we'd go in bathing together, and here is where the romance comes in. This is what started this whole thing. One day, she got out a little too far. Of course, I don't want to pose as a hero, but if I hadn't been there at the critical moment to jump in after her, she would have perished miserably. It's a funny thing. My father saved my mother from drowning, and I think I know now why he never wanted me to take swimming lessons. Of course, you understand, it wasn't that I didn't love this girl. I did love her. I loved every hair on her bureau. I loved her because she came of a very aristocratic family, one of her uncles being a retired bank president, a judge retired him for eight years, and she loved me. She loved me because I was always so good to her. I spent an awful lot of money on her. Why, I remember taking her out one evening, and I spent a dollar and a half on her freely. I would have spent more than that, but that's all she had. So I said to myself, having saved this woman's life, I will propose to her and get married. I was out of work anyway, so I picked out a nice evening for the dirty work, and when I rang the bell, she met me at the door with a smile spread all over her beautiful map. I had a bouquet of flowers in my hand, some heliotrypes, and I, I gave her this bouquet, and with my voice just choking with emotion and love and beer, I said to her like this, I said, kitten, I called her kitten till we were married nine days, and then she got her eyes open. I said, kitten, will you marry me? He said, yes, I don't care what becomes of me. So I took her over to the ministers, and we were united in the holy bunk of matrimony. Then we started off on our funny moon, or uh, as they say in French, on our voyage de noc. And my wife, being a very sensitive woman, didn't want anyone to know that we had just been married, so I let her carry the valise. 